This video focuses on the ACR Radiology Education Days in Pediatric Imaging, which were held March 25th to 26th, 2013 in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Let's hear from faculty, leaders, and participants in their words. I was surprised, even being prepared, I was surprised at the extent of poverty, the number of people who are in, uh, in desperate need of, of hope and also the, uh, the economic and political climate in Haiti. There's uh, being so close to the United States and living in such poverty is, uh, is an uh, incredible experience, just to observe. folks here. Uh, they just love that, being able to uh, uh, get a basic understanding of ultrasound and how ultrasound can help them. We had an outstanding faculty. Uh, my, uh, my hat's off to, to all of those who came and, uh, for organ and the people that organized the program did an outstanding job. The people here in Haiti that helped us as well, the folks with the ICC uh, and the hospital, uh, and really everybody uh, helped to make it a great program. I did participate in the hands-on uh, ultrasound courses in the afternoon. I think the attendees were very uh, grateful for our efforts. I think they, uh, they showed their gratitude. Uh, in many ways. At one time uh, uh, in the program, uh, it was time for lunch, and one of the speakers said, let's stop now because we've run out of time, and the audience said, no, no, don't stop, keep talking. Uh, I think that says a great deal for how uh, interested and dedicated they were. Our goals this year were pediatric imaging, uh, and particularly pediatric imaging uh, with ultrasound. We did give these individuals uh, who attended our program some uh, education with plain film, some education with CT as well. Uh, they had opportunities for hands-on scanning, which many in, participated uh, in very enthusiastically. At first, mm -hmm. because I work in pediatrics, it's really hard to interpret and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think it was good. A little short, because we had a lot to learn in two days. Well, it was very nice. And since you had a lot of uh, invitations very early, so we could have a lot of pediatricians to come here and join. You want to play with the transducer? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> There we go, there's the picture. <laughs> yeah. I was a little uncertain as to what they what their level of training was and I, I can find that I am so impressed. There are a lot of fellowship trained people here that I didn't expect, but they're anxiousness to learn and, and their attention has been absolutely incredible. I think it's going well. Um, you know we have to deal with some you know changes in the schedule just have to kind of go with the flow but uh, I think the participants have been happy with the course so far and they seem very involved and uh, I'm very excited uh, with the information being presented.
So uh, I've been lucky enough to travel to similar uh, places before, so I feel like our trip here has been very well organized. We did a good job reaching out to the appropriate uh, group, so I think that we have a very high yield opportunity. We've also been able to balance that with traveling out to the community and doing kind of an informal needs assessment in terms of what type of radiology equipment and radiology education uh, might be best utilized The infrastructure before and after the uh, earthquake has been a, uh, been a challenge. Uh, I always equate uh, trying to work in Haiti, trying to put your finger on a, on a tomato seed that keeps moving. Uh, it's economic. It's uh, there's the cultural uh, barriers. I think you overcome uh, as you as you continue to visit, uh, be associated with the same people. I wasn't really sure what to expect because I wasn't quite sure what my audience was, which is something that always makes me a little bit nervous. And uh, so I just assumed that I would be teaching a range of individuals in terms of their background knowledge. And it's been a very refreshing and very rewarding experience. meet people that I might be able to work with in the future because as the residency director at UC Davis, we've been trying to do some outreach with residencies elsewhere and um, so I was hoping that I'd be able to develop some relationships. Here are some program facts that came out of the conference. There were over 100 attendees. The conference featured 13 didactic lectures in pediatric imaging four rotating ultrasound hands-on training sessions, small group clinical case discussions, and larger group interesting case discussions. There was overwhelming support for the program. The most common comment in the evaluations was it was too short. The leadership toured four hospitals in Port-au-Prince and met with the leadership of those facilities. The leadership also met with folks from the medical school and the Partners in Health facility in Mirable. Finally, the leadership met with the chief resident of the University Hospital. Follow-up efforts for continuing education are already underway. In addition to the ACR and its foundation, the ACR wants to give special thanks to Grace Children's Hospital and International Child Care, the Society of Radiologists and Ultrasound, the Society of Pediatric Radiology, the Society of Diagnostic Medical Sonographers, Sonocyte, and the World Federation of Pediatric Imaging.